The deadlift is a widely used compound exercise. It is very effective for increasing strength by activating the largest muscles of the legs and lower back. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body when you practice the deadlift. So watch till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! During the deadlift, all muscle groups are involved, but first of all, the legs or rather the back of the thigh and the back. Also, the abs act as a stabilizer while performing this exercise. The trapezius and forearms are perfectly loaded and the hands also receive a good static load. Let's move on to the rest of the deadlift benefits. The deadlift is one of the best exercises for training the hip extensors. These include the gluteus maximus and muscles of the back of the thigh. Research shows that deadlifts may be more beneficial than squats when it comes to training these muscles in particular. However, the barbell back squat has other benefits than the deadlift and is also an important component of a balanced training program. Lower back pain is a common complaint for both men and women. Although there are many cases of this pain requiring different approaches to treatment, although there are many causes of this pain, research shows that for mild low back pain, deadlift can be an effective tool to reduce the symptoms of this ailment. Note that correct deadlift technique with a neutral spine position is critical. Only under such conditions will the exercise not aggravate the pain. However, you should consult your doctor before doing deadlifts as a part of your treatment for low back pain. Jumping is one of the key skills and your ability to jump often reflects your overall lower body strength development. Decreased bone mineral density is a common effect of aging and a serious health problem faced by older people. A large loss of bone mineral density leads to osteoporosis, which greatly increases the risk of fractures in the elderly. A large body of research supports the benefits of strength training in slow age-related loss of bone mineral density. The localization of increased bone density is directly related to the trained area of the body. In particular, the area of the muscles that work to perform this movement, the greatest remineralization of bone tissue will occur. When performing a deadlift, it is very important to observe the correct technique since the risk of injury is very high. Let's analyze the execution technique. Place your feet hip width apart, pull your hips back, tilt your body and grab the barbell with both hands. Straighten your chest and shoulders, look forward, tighten the muscles of your back, then lift the barbell. When lowering the bar, move your pelvis back, only slightly bending your knees. Make sure that your back is always straight during the deadlift. If you can't maintain this position and you want to hunch over, then you took too much weight. In addition, the deadlift puts a lot of stress on the cardiovascular system and increased weights are not recommended for people with high blood pressure or heart disease. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel. Leave your comment if you enjoyed watching. See you soon.